Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey, so you probably have a Bluetooth speaker which you regularly connect to your cell phone. And then you thought, well, let me go ahead and try to connect it to my computer. But then you realize that your computer doesn't have Bluetooth with it. So unfortunately, you can't get connected. Actually, here's a map of the way that you can get connected. Even if in fact, your speaker only takes Bluetooth. But before we continue, let's make sure that that's the case. Check to see if you find an aux port on the back or on the side, wherever on your speaker. You may say something like line in or aux. If you find it, great. You won't need to go out and spend on one of these little devices. Just go ahead and plug in directly through that port. And I already made another video that shows you exactly how to complete your connection. But I'm pretty positive that you already checked and didn't find any of those audio ports. And that's why you're here. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this map to see how we complete our connection. Which you probably already figured out by now because it's so short. But there are two things we gotta confirm to ensure our connection. The first one has to do with our computer's requirement. It's gonna need to have a specific port. And the good news is that most computers are gonna have that port that you need, which is just a typical aux 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Find that aux port on your computer with the headphones logo like we can see here, and that's where you're gonna get connected. If you don't find that logo, no problem, don't worry. If you have an older computer, you may see a green colored port, and that port serves as the headphone jack. Why are there three? Well, they're color coded to represent their different uses. See those bands with the arrow pointing out? That means that the PC's audio is gonna go out to something like a pair of headphones, an external speaker, or a stereo system, or what wasn't even thought of at the time, a Bluetooth transmitter. Which brings us to our second detail, which is super duper important. Here's an animation to help with the explanation. You see the audio from the computer is gonna make its way to our device, which is in turn gonna disperse that audio via a Bluetooth signal. Looking at this, we can see that what we're doing is transmitting a Bluetooth signal, which is why we need a Bluetooth transmitter. The reason I highlight this is because there are also Bluetooth receivers and they can look exactly alike, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work for us because we're not trying to get our computer to receive Bluetooth, we're trying to get it to transmit it. Here's a link to help you get started on looking for the exact type that you need because otherwise you're gonna have to go even longer without your connection. I mean, just look at all the different types there are. Just remember to make sure that it has the word transmitter in it. I mean, there's just so many like this one here is made just for your car. If you want total flexibility, you could get one that's both a transmitter and a receiver. Check out how quick the process is. Just go ahead and turn on your transmitter. Gotta hold this button for a couple of seconds. There it goes. And now I've plugged it into my computer's headphone jack. With this last step here, we're gonna feel a little blind because we have no screen on our speaker, unless you do, to select our Bluetooth transmitter. But go ahead and obviously turn your speaker on and what you want to do is put it back in pairing mode. But here's where it can get a little tricky now, right? Because if your speaker is already paired to your phone, most likely it's going to end up reconnecting back to it whether you like it or not. So go ahead and turn off the Bluetooth on your phone if you're running into this problem. Now with your speaker disconnected from any Bluetooth device, it's ready to receive your Bluetooth transmitter. Then if your speaker usually makes a little sound effect, it'll make it here as well to let you know that you've connected successfully. So now anything you're playing out through your computer's headphone line will be transmitted and played through your Bluetooth speaker. Check out these other videos to help you with other connections or just explore the rest of my channel. Want to keep more videos coming? Well, you can help me stay awake with a cup of coffee. You can go to buymeacoffee.com slash simple cafe or just look right here below in YouTube with the controls, you'll find a super thanks button. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you get connected.